All right. There's a car behind you, but hey, this is Sean Michael MacArthur, and this is um, Philip Twain Morrow. He is in second period, and I'm in fourth period for Mr. Kester's pre-AP physics class, 2012 and 2013. It is nighttime, I understand, but we are going to show how awesome we are by doing this at night. What is going to happen is first, Sean is going to use this awesome crossbow that I bought at the rodeo. He is going to use this crossbow to shoot at this lemon. This lemon right here is going to roll down an inclined plane. Let me back up a little bit. That crossbow is starting with elastic potential energy. Whenever he fires a crossbow, that elastic potential energy becomes... It becomes kinetic energy, which is then transferred to the lemon as it makes contact. The lemon rolls down an inclined plane made of two uh, broomsticks um, with kinetic energy, and it's going to bump into this uh, piece of tape. Okay, it's going to bump into that. That's going to roll. It's going to continue with. Uh, this is going to have gravitational potential energy, by the way, at first. Then it's going to have kinetic energy transfer as it swings across. As it swings across, it's going to knock this basketball. This is going on the dark basketball, by the way. And this basketball is going to fall over. This basketball as well also had gravitational potential energy, which was then transferred into kinetic energy as it fell. As it falls, it is pulling up this pulley, which has circular motion in it, um, which will then pull down this string. The string will go down right here, um, and it's going to pull a little hook that's um, connected to a piece of tape that's covering a hole. This thing is full of water. When that is released, water is going to fall into this pan, which is then going to weight it down, which is going to make this thing rise. These are going to knock all over. Once again, these are all just potential to kinetic energy, nothing fancy here, until it finally hits this mousetrap. When this mousetrap springs, it is going to yank this, um, this pencil, um, is going to pull this piece, this stick thing, which is going to make this brick fall which is holding this weight. When this weight falls, it is going to pull a string on this pulley. This pulley is going to activate this wood splitter, which is going to come and crush, well, not really cr crush, but split a watermelon in half so it can be eaten. That is our project. It is a total of nine steps that do not include the finale because the finale is not included. Is there anything I haven't covered yet? All right, can we set up um, all the last little details? All right. Um, you viewers just get to sit here and do nothing because, you know, you rock and we don't. We are putting the finishing touches right on right now so it doesn't uh, mess anything up. Okay, it's leaking kind of bad. Okay. Um, Kyle, can you run and get some more water just in case? <laughs> um, and Sean, this is going to knock over. All right, we need to start this wood splitter. I didn't have it on beforehand because it'd be way too loud for the voice. Is there anything else we need? We're good. All right. Are we ready? Can we bring the light over here? Um. I need Kyle to bring back more water. Holding just a little bit longer, Kyle. Whoa, okay, don't do that again. Pour it in there. All right, we're good. Sean? Ready? Go. 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 Dang it. <laughs> okay, restart, restart, restart. Hey, you're going to wait a little bit longer, viewers, because, well, it's nighttime, and we are not perfect, and John apparently cannot hit something from Point Blank range with a crossbow. All right, here we go. All right. Ready? Go.
<laughs> All right. Hey, there's yeah, there's our thing. Dang it. <laughs> there's our thing. We did it correctly. All right. We're done. Goodbye.